1919, Andre Gustave Citroen introduced what is considered the first mass-produced car in Europe, the Citroen Type A. This car established Citroen as a household name. This story started in 1878 where Citroen was born. Born in Paris, France, he was the fifth child of Mazza Amelia Kleinman and Levy Citroen, who died when Andre was six years old. Twenty years later, he graduated from Ecole Polytechnique with a diploma in engineering. He traveled to Poland where he witnessed a carpenter working on a wooden herringbone gear, which would have been used for centuries. It led to many business endeavors which he will take on. They sold helical gears into the automotive industry. A well-known instance of his gears was actually in the RMS Titanic. It was also evaluated by Rolls-Royce. In 1908, Andre Citroen assumed chairmanship of the French automaker Moors, which was then declined. Facing production challenges across disparate departments, Citroen sought inspiration and solutions during a visit to Henry Ford's River Roots plant in Michigan in 1912. Witnessing the streamlined efficiency of Ford's single plant production system, bathed in the amber light and space, Citroen was profoundly impressed. The two would actually meet on several occasions as well. Taking lessons learned from Ford's methods and developed a rapport with Henry Ford himself, Citroen implemented similar practices upon returning to Moore's. By reorganizing and revitalizing production, he dramatically increased the output from 125 cars to 1,000 per year, significantly boosting the company's revenue. However, the outbreak of World War I will occur. The war provided a new challenge. Observing critical ammunition shortages firsthand alongside with his brother Bernard and his brother-in-law Max Bingen, Citroen recognized an opportunity to apply mass production techniques to the war effort. He pivoted Moore's facilities to produce 55,000 shells daily for the French army, playing a crucial role in blistering wartime supplies. Following World War I's end in 1919, Citroen transitioned these successful wartime methods into peacetime production. The culmination of his efforts was a Type A, a vehicle that embodied Citroen's commitment to efficiency innovation and the application of mass production principles learned from Henry Ford. He wanted the Type A to be accessible to a wider audience, but before that happened, he had a significant challenge. There were limited factories after the war, so Citroen had to make a bold decision and convert wartime munitions plant into an automotive factory. This adaptive reuse of wartime infrastructure mirrored similar transformations such as the iconic Silverstone circuit, which was once used as an airfield during World War II. By May 1919, the Type A rolled out the production line. Its steel body provided durability while the 1.3 liter four-cylinder engine delivered 18 horsepower with a top speed of 40 miles per hour, which is very impressive at this time. The inclusion of a three-speed manual transmission enhanced its practicality and appeal. The Type A was marked by a significant milestone in automotive history as the first mass-produced car in Europe and also exemplifies Citroen's innovation and accessibility vision. After unveiling the first Type A, Andre Citroen made waves across France by pricing it at 7,950 francs, which undercutted the competitors and made car ownership more attainable. His bold statement, I, Citroen, want to provide every Frenchman with cars and epitomize his vision for democratizing automobile access. Citroen strategies paid off. Demand surged with eager customers flocking to place orders for the car that defined the company's early success. By June 1919, deliveries of the Type A began in earnest, totaling 24,000 units being produced from 1919 to 1921. During its production line, it actually offered different body styles for to attract an array of different customers to buy the brand new product, and also solidified Citroen's reputation as an innovator in mass production models. Some of the trims include torpedo bodies, city cups, delivery vans, cover vans, as well as commercial variants. The Type A became an influential success for France. Prior to its production, European manufacturers typically produced a few hundred vehicles annually. 
Citroen's mass production methods not only set a new standard, but also prompted competitors to ramp up their own production, transforming the industry landscape for years to come. After the launch of the Type A, Europe underwent a dramatic transformation as numerous automakers embraced mass production. This pivotal moment not only reshaped the automotive industry, but left an indelible mark on European transportation history. The Type A's affordability played a crucial role in its success. In 1920 alone, Citroen produced 20,000 units, making it the highest selling car of the year. Andre Citroen recognizes new opportunities. In 1921, he introduced the Type A as a taxi option for the public, highlighting its versatility and practicality. This will, of course, accelerate the automotive industry's growth, allowing for more people to afford cars, thanks to some of the methods displayed by Andre Citroen. Many automotive advancements in France and across Europe owe a debt of gratitude to the Citroen Type A, particularly for its pioneering efforts in mass production. It achieved a remarkable success and became Europe's first mass-produced car and set a precedent for many countless automobile brands to follow. The method of mass production would continue on through Citroen, and by the 1930s, the company became one of the world's largest, a testament to Citroen's brilliance, intellect, and charismatic leadership. With cars such as the Traction Avant, the 2CV, and the Citroen DS, it helps continue the legacy that was set by the Type A. And though Andre Citroen died in 1935, his methods and ideology are still followed to this day. And that is why, with all these factors, the Type A is considered one of the greatest and legendary cars of history. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.